Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. Welcome to the session on Java Reflection. In this session, we are going to inspect the runtime behavior of the classes. That means we are going to understand the behavior of the classes at the runtime using the reflection. So I am going to explain this one using an example. So I already opened my Eclipse. I am going to create a class. The class name I am giving as employee and package name I am giving as com.java.techie.reflection and I would like I don't have I would I don't want the main method in this class so just to click finish now in this I am going to uh, create three properties private int employee id private int employee name private int uh, sorry private string employee name private string company okay now i am going to create setter and getter method this for these three properties select all click ok and what I will do is I am going to create a constructor also for this class so source constructor and click ok and one more method I am going to create to display these uh, properties. So public void display system.out.println employee id get employee id get employee id and uh, employee name get employee name then company get company name so this is very simple so I have created an employee case with the three properties, one constructor and I have created a setter getter methods for this. And then I have written, I have um, created a one method display to print the employee ID, employee name and company. Now, I, using the Java reflection, we are going to inspect the behavior of the employee class at runtime. So now I am going to create a main method sorry that means I am going to create a one more class I am saying this one as same reflection demo and I would like to have a main method in this class so now click finish so here we are going to in, uh, write the code to inspect the employee class uh, on the runtime so in order to identify the object the runtime so there are two ways you can create an object using the employee equal to new employee object or using the class dot for name so what i can do is class dot for name i can pass any uh, fully qualified name of the class name here so fully qualified name is nothing but this is the package um, I created for it and then inside this package I have created a employee class. Now this is going to return me a class object. Okay. So for the uh, class dot for name it is going to throw the exception. Uh, if you see here right it is uh, checked exception it is it is going to say that class not found exception 
So either two options, either you can catch this exception or you using the throws, you can throws, throws class not found exception. Okay, so this is the check option. You can you have to handle it the uh, compile time itself. So now you got the class object. Now using this class object, you can find out the behavior of this class at the runtime. Now how you can find is for the class dot. Now you can you will find a couple of um, uh, methods you are seeing here. So in this class, whatever you want to find, you can find it. For example, now I want to know about what are the constructors defined for this. Now what I can say is get constructors. It is going to return an array of constructors. Okay. Now what I can do is constructor constructors equal to class dot get constructor. Now this is going to return me a list of constructors we have defined in the this uh, employee class. So using the for each loop, I am going to iterate it for constructor construct constructor constructors. What I can do is I am going to iterate it. System dot out dot print. I am going to directly print this constructor itself. Sorry, constructor. Okay. Now let us run this program and see what is the output of it. Right click at run as Java application. Sorry, it is a typo mistake. Now right click on it under NS Java application. Now if you see here, it is saying public com dot siva java techie dot reflection dot employee int and java dot lang dot string comma java dot lang dot string. So it is saying that it has declared a in this employee class, it has declared we have declared a one constructor which takes three argument one is integer and string and string if you go ahead and see the employee class it is same we have a one constructor with the three arguments one is integer employee id employee name and company so using the java uh, using the class object you are going to get what are the diff, uh, what are the uh, constructors you are defining in this in this class employee now, if you want to find out what are the methods you are going to, you are declared in this um, uh, class, then get methods. It is going to return me the method uh, arrays. So I can catch this one through method, the methods. Good. So I need to import the method from java.lang.reflect. Now it is going to return me a methods uh, array array of the method. So using the for each loop, I can iterate it. So method method equal to methods equal methods. Now you can directly go ahead and print method. Okay, yeah, I'm just giving here one system dot out dot print element below are the methods defined in employee class. Now right click on it, run as Java application. If you see here, Apart from the methods, whatever we have declared in the employee, if you see that these are the methods we have declared uh, defined in the employee class, get uh, get employee ID, set employee ID, get employee name, set employee name, 
get company and set company and display but if you see it right other the apart from this it also it also printed other methods so if you if you see exactly these are the methods which are defined in the super class object so whenever you are trying to print a current class uh, um you, whenever you are trying to get the uh, class methods declared in the class then automatically it will refer the super class object methods and also it is going to print all those methods so that is what it is now if you want to define properties whatever the properties you want to define in the, uh, you declare you declare or defined in the employee class then you want to get it using the cls class object dot get fields so now this is going to return me list of fields sorry it is a array of fields so fields array of fields assigning this one and now you need to import from the java dot lang dot reflect and now again you can iterate uh, the uh, fields we will see what are the fields it has so system dot out dot print and then below or fields defined or declared declared in employee class now using the for each loop for field field colon fields and now system dot out dot print element field now this is going to print list of the properties are the uh, instant variables we declare uh, we declared are defined in the employee class so below are the didn't print anything one second instead of fields 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 right you can define get declared fields yeah you can get de get declared fields so now run it as java application and then you can see here so below are the fields defined in the employee class employee id employee name and company name so these are the fields it has def, uh, declared in the uh, employee class now if you want to uh, see what is the super class for this class then you can directly get that information using the class object get super class then it is going to print super class object for the whatever the class you have um, declared for example if you are extending any other class for example employee class is extending some other class then the super class information will be whatever the class you are going to extend but by default all the classes in java ex uh, extend the super class object class so it is going to return the object so i am saying that super class of ob uh, super class of employee is now i am going to run this program and uh, you can see the output as the super class of employees class java dot lang dot object so this is the super class for the all the classes and uh, similarly if you want to know other details like um, class dot get interfaces so if this class if the employee class is actually extending some other uh, interfaces then automatically that information also will come for example to just to show you a demo i am implementing uh, serializable interface serializable so i am implementing this interface now when i come here and trying to get the interfaces it is again going to return me the get interfaces so 
get a interfaces as going to return again a uh, list of uh, sorry uh, class array so what i need to do is class i need to cast it it is a interface interface interfaces so if i iterate through this interfaces then i can get the what are the interfaces it has implemented the employee class i can get that information and if you if you are working with the latest version of java then it also supports the uh, annotation so if you want to find what are the annotations uh, defined in the class by using this uh, annotation thing you can get it and like that we have a um, couple of methods to know the uh, behavior or the properties or fields or the constructors and uh, even you can uh, get at the uh, access modifier also the access modifier nothing but it is a public or uh, protected or this one so those information you can get it and uh, qualify name and even you can get the package information and uh, even if you want to have uh, the type information so the, it is a flexibility of uh, there are uh, flexibility uh, to understand the behavior of the complete uh, uh, behavior of the classes even you can check whether if there is any is this is an interface or it is an enum or it is an uh, is it an uh, is it an primitive type or uh, interface or localized class or all these are the couple of options when you have a get a time you can go through all these things but at high level using the java reflection without knowing your proper details about the classes then you can go ahead and understand complete uh, details that means you can inspect the complete details about the class at the runtime so why we are saying about the runtime means class dot for name is going to take a fully qualified name of the any class so on the runtime you can provide any class here without knowing the uh, complete details about the employee class you can get all this information whatever you want to uh, do from using this reflection hope you are clear with it and if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video and uh, please uh, subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to get uh, more technical uh, tutorial updates from my end